न वेद यज्ञाध्ययनर्न दानेर्न च क्रियाभिर्न तपोभिग्रे एवं रूप शक्य अहम नृलोके दृष्टुम तदन्येन कुरु प्रवीर हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी फोर्टी एट्थ श्लोक ऑफ दी इलेवेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवद गीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गो ओवर इट्स मीनिंग सो द श्लोक सेज न वेद यज्ञाध्ययनर्न दानेर्न which means neither by study of vedas yagya nor by charity cha kriya bhir na tapo bhir ugreh which means and neither by action nor by intense penance evam rupah shakya aham niloke which means it is certainly possible to see my form in this world of mortals drishtum tvadanyena kuru pravir which means for others o best warrior among the kurus so basically what uh, shri krishna is telling over here is uh, that uh, this form of shri krishna that he has shown to arjun is something which is uh, very difficult to attain such a vision cannot be achieved by the study of the vedas or by performing yagyas or by performing charity neither can it be attained by action nor by intense penance so this vision of the supreme lord can only be attained by the grace of the lord when a person uh, is able to please the lord so that is what shri krishna is saying over here so let's understand this idea in uh, more detail in terms of the grace of the lord how it actually works so we all know that the path of uh, attaining the lord is uh, through self inquiry and uh, we also know that out of thousands of people only a few are actually the ones who develop interest in this self inquiry so one may ask the question you know that uh, why is it that the supreme lord only ignites uh, the this uh, self inquiry in uh, just a very few people when uh, we know that uh, all beings are actually the puppets in the hand of the supreme lord so people will say you know if everybody is, is uh, in control of the supreme lord then why is the supreme lord not uh, giving rise to this uh, this curiosity towards self inquiry in all the people so to this uh, let's try to imagine a situation where everybody in this world is uh, interested in self inquiry so if that happens that then everybody will just be engaged in that and no activity will actually happen so this entire yagya which is happening over here will not really make a progress then because people will just stop acting you know so if there was no ignorance in this world then how will the importance of knowledge be appreciated i mean if there is no ignorance then there is no appreciation for knowledge it's only through ignorance that a person is able to appreciate knowledge ignorance brings us suffering and uh, that suffering is the one which then propels a person to become self interested to become interested in self knowledge so the only reasonable answer to this question raised over here is that it is only through the grace of the lord when he sends difficulties in front of us or he sends um, bad experiences in front of us that we develop the interest towards self inquiry and uh, develop the interest to know the lord so this this is a cyclical process in that sense wherein uh, ignorance arises in knowledge and uh, that ignorance bring, brings sorrow and then from that sorrow then the person uh, searches for knowledge and then attains the knowledge so it is through the grace of the lord that that sorrow comes in a person's life and then the person starts to move towards attaining the lord now let's say that uh, you are one of those fortunate few people who have developed uh, this interest so the lord has graced you with this interest towards the uh, self knowledge then what will happen you will uh, then start reading the scriptures and you will start living your life in accordance with them so in this way you will start studying the vedas by performing yagyas you will perform charity selfless actions and severe penance you will start performing Uh, but uh, this will basically be a process which will cleanse your mind but is your mind clean or not is not something that you can yourself say it is something that uh, only the supreme lord knows that how your mind has been cleansed or not so you can then perform all of these things uh, but uh, that is where you then have to stop because you know uh, you have to then 
basically wait patiently for the grace of the lord when he will completely evaluate you to be completely pure and then his his grace will come on you so you make progress towards all of these things you do study the vedas you perform yagya you perform charity you perform selfless action and you perform severe penances to cleanse your mind but eventually when you have attained that clean mind that is something that has to be evaluated by the lord himself and so you do all of these things and then you let everything on the supreme lord you have done whatever you could have done and now uh, it's in the hand of the supreme lord when he sends the the grace on you because he has to take care of this entire world and maybe he wants you to do something more than what you have done and so he will make you do that thing eventually and then he will grace you with uh, with 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 his uh, with his uh, uh, blessings to give you that vision so that is what is the message over here that you know a person can try all of these things and then once he has cleansed his mind and the supreme deity has realized uh, that you know now your mind is clean so you have performed all of these things and now i am pleased with you so that is when he will grace you with his vision so all of these things that are there reading vedas performing selfless actions cleansing your mind through uh, scriptures through charity and severe penance and all of that you have to do Uh, but that is not the end in the end it is the grace of the lord through which you will get his vision and that will happen when your mind is completely clean and that you don't really know when it is completely clean it's only the lord who knows it and so then he will grace you when he realizes that your mind is completely clean so if you have done all of this be patient eventually if your mind is clean and if your devotion is true then you will attain his vision there is no doubt about it So that was the message of this shlok i hope that i have explained this shlok well to you with that i will close this video i will see you in the next video take care